The reason we wanted to do it was to try to make the colon cancer screening recommendations uh, more personal for people of average risk. So we're supposed to be in the era of personalized medicine, yet the, the recommendations for average risk screening are broad. They suggest a number of tests and strategies without really any preference. And we know that you know, what we hear is that 85% of the population is considered average risk, and that just doesn't make sense. We know within that 85% there are people at lower risk and higher risk, and we wanted to see if we could identify variables that would help stratify the risk among average risk people in order to tailor uh, the screening test and strategy that are chosen. There are several people to acknowledge. Our project manager, Curly Morrow of the Regan Street Institute, uh, remained the project manager for seven years uh, that, we, that it took to do the study. Uh, which I think is quite an accomplishment. Our research assistants, uh, especially the ones that we had toward the latter half of the study, uh, Kim Hemmerlein and Mungai Mena, also of the Regan Street Institute, were incredibly fastidious with data collection and with following up with patients to ensure that we had appropriate data. Uh, and finally, the data manager for the study, Janetta Matson, did a superb job managing a very complex database. First, it's the target audience. We want to appeal to general internists and uh, other general practitioners who really need to know and understand this information. And Annals is terrific at making sure that authors' work get a fair, rigorous review and that it gets presented in the very best way it can. The first one is validation of our risk score by uh, independent investigators. Uh, or by us on a separate population, but it would be stronger if other investigators took the score and validated it in a comparable population. In other words, uh, a population that's undergoing their first screening uh, with colonoscopy. The other question is, will this scoring system help increase the uh, uptake of colorectal cancer screening uh, among patients who are previously non-adherent to it, and will it help make colon cancer screening more efficient by tailoring the use of colonoscopy. Instead, in other words, instead of using it in everybody without really discriminating who's at risk and who's not at risk, will it help make the guidelines uh, more efficient? The first question about independent validation requires uh, a new population of unscreened people who are going to have screening colonoscopy as their first screening test. Uh, and who um, you know, are previously unscreened, average risk in the 50 to 80 year old uh, interval. The second question probably has two parts to it, and the first would be to refine how the index is presented to provi providers and patients, uh, and trying to optimize its presentation, trying to make sure that providers and patients understand it. And once we have that optimized, then testing it in a clinical trial where you would randomize patients who are not adherent to screening to either receive the index or not get it and then see if their uptake and their choice of a screening test is different. And we could also do that among providers as well.